Hi, I'm Jill Hobbs with my next video, Tracing and Transferring. There are three ways to produce lines, each for a specific reason within decorative painting. Tracing, transferring and liner work. All three need to be as accurate as possible, bearing in mind that hand painted is not machine made and each will be unique. The first two are the foundations on which everything else is built on and the third is the embellishments added when needed. We will concentrate today on the first two, trace and transfer. Both are general instruction technique words found in decorative painting books and pattern packs. It is extremely hard knowing how much information to give you. I don't want to be patronising by taking this down to primary school levels, but I also want everyone to learn from the bottom up. Too much information will be better than not enough, so please bear with me if these basic techniques are below your knowledge level. Tracing. This means a pattern or design traced onto tracing paper to produce a transparent image. Transferring. This simply means to transfer the image onto your project. Now bear with me, I know it's basic stuff. Items needed from your painting kit. A scrap of paper for a few fun exercises. Printed line drawings. High transparency tracing paper. Black and white transfer paper. A pencil, rubber, sharpener, double-ended stylus, scissors and a ruler. Scotch magic tape. This tape is not the cheapest on the market, but it will peel off easily from any project and can be used over and over again. Well worth the extra pennies. And last but not least, base coated cardstock. A golden rule. Always look where you are going, not where you are or where you have been. And by this I mean look ahead of where the pencil or stylus has contact with the project. Ok, now we we'll move on to some fun exercises. Take a pencil and scrap paper. We're going to practice some simple exercises, coordinating your eyes and hand. Remember doing dot to dot pictures when you were younger? This is extremely similar to that, only this time it's a line that we follow. Draw a wavy line on scrap paper. Go over it again. A fair bit of wobble and mistakes to mend. Draw another wavy line. Now following the principle of looking where you're going, retrace that line and do it in small steps. Now I've got one I've done here earlier on, just to save some time. It helps if you place a dot at the end of each straight line. Oh yeah, sure, this is a wavy line. What the heck am I talking about? Look at that line. How many dots will I need? Some are close together, others are further apart. No retrace. But look at the next dot, not at the pencil and not at the line. Stare at that dot. Your pencil will automatically connect with it. Carry on along that wavy line, draw into a dot at a time. How accurate was your second line 
compared to the first line. There's a lot of difference between the two. This one needs mending and this one doesn't. Now try a long line with two dots. Start at the first dot and stare at the second dot, joining them up in one swift action. Well, retrace that line again. Remember to relax and not think about it. The possibilities are quite high that you might wobble a bit on the second line. It's okay if it is still reasonably straight, but it's also possible to be exactly the same. Now mine's not too far wrong until I get right to the very end and then it does vary just slightly so I'm pretty pleased with that. But straight lines can be difficult to master. Poor eyesight or a shaky hand is a usual culprit. We can make a massive shortcut by using a ruler. Now taking in what we have just learnt, the third exercise should be easy. Start out by writing a few letters or your name. Retrace them, making sure you focus on where your eyes are in connection to the hand holding the pencil. My eyes are slightly ahead of the pencil. These are tight corners and curves but I looked as far ahead as I could and that's the secret of good tracing and transferring. Let's get down to the basics. I've cut the tracing paper slightly bigger than the design and then I've cut a corner off. I'm right handed so I cut off the top left corner. For left handed students cut off the top right corner. Centre of the design and secure with magic tape. This will make it easier to lift and check to see if I've missed any details without moving the image. With a sharpened pencil, carefully trace all of the details. Remember Look where you're going, not where you've been. Relax. No one is perfect. Oops, a mistake there. Erase and redo any wobbles as you draw them. Occasionally lift the tracing to see if any details have been missed.
No, they seem to be all okay. And on to the next one. Trace in the direction that is comfortable for you. Ensure you can see the line you are following, continuously turning the design if needed. Lift the trace in to see if any details have been missed. No, I think that's okay. But we'll double check this. Lay the two side by side and you can check off. Not everything's done and this is fine. So the best place to put this trace in is on top of the project I will be transferring onto. There you go, nice and safe. Long straight lines. The golden rule to look where you're going and not where you've been. That's the one. Several ways to do these. One continuous line, or short lines with or without gaps, or use a ruler. All bubbles can be mended, relax and enjoy. Well, the easiest, of course, is a ruler, and it doesn't make a really good job. Now, lift and check to make sure you've got all your pieces, and double check again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, perfect. I do. The computer is a perfect tool for obtaining quotes, phrases and sayings on the internet and Word documents can create endless options in font styles and size and all can be printed and used within decorative painting. Now then, for tracing your pencil needs to be extremely sharp. It is important to trace lines that are easy to read mend as and when needed. The golden rule? To look where you're going and not where you've been. Well done, top of the class. Okay, I'm just going to lift and check. Yep, and as always, double check. Yep, that's fine. Continuously tracing and transferring designs will gradually teach you how to draw. You will learn that not all line drawings are true to form and you will automatically make adjustments to them. Trust your instincts and allow this to happen.
Now we move on to transferring. Use the appropriate colour transfer paper. Black on pale colours and white on dark colours. A stylus is a double-ended tool used for transferring the trace pattern to your project. Use in the same way as a pencil without making a visible mark. An out of ink pen will do the same thing. Centre the tracing over the project and secure with magic tape. Look at the transfer paper. Some are easy to see which way is up. The waxy shiny side will make the transfer. Ensure this is facing down. Very easy to see that this is a bit that makes a transfer on this one. Transfer paper varies on make and age. And this bit's been used lots and lots of times, but it's still usable. Now this new piece of uh, transfer paper will be extremely harsh when fresh used and needs just a light touch to achieve the transfer. Slip it under the tracing. Transferring is a repeat of the tracing instructions. If a wobble happens, just go over the line again. We can mend afterwards. The golden rule to remember? Look where you're going and not where you've been. Oh, excellent. Well done, young lady. That was done without a read out check. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start this very lightly. And then check to see what's happening. And that's just fine. So I can carry on and do the do the whole lot with a light touch. <laughs> Keep checking every now and then to make sure you've transferred all that you need to and the lines aren't getting too dark. Yeah, I think that's pretty good, apart from that bubble right there. I'm just going to raise that one a minute. Raise my acorn as well. Let me check I've got the right one. Yeah, done. And that one's ready to start painting. White transfer paper, depending on make. It's usually easier to tell. Oh, some some have a diff, definite difference in colour, which is even better. But just just remember the wax the waxy side goes down. I'm gonna pop that one under this and just do some straight lines. So we're back to the continuous line. Or short lines with gaps, or short lines without gaps, or I've got to remember which ones I've done. I'm 
put the ruler on and do them really quickly. This fun design with the spider will be a completely free project for everybody, not just bad for members, but everybody. I'm just going to check if I've got them what I should. Put the eyes on just for fun. There we go. All done. That's the second one done. Words. Fine lines. They need to be easy to read. So the very finest point of your double-ended stylus. Waxy side. Your uh, transfer paper. And the golden rule to look where you're going and not where you've been. Wow. Now I'm getting really impressed. Where have I been? <laughs> you. <laughs> I think that would be enough. Give you an idea. Right, mend and wobbles, erase or use base coat colour. This is the reason why I use base coated cardstock. Coloured card doesn't give you the option to mend it. I learnt this lesson after throwing projects in the bin because I could not mend them and like all painters I'm critical of my own work. Although this is very basic, something we learn in primary school, don't feel awkward practicing simple designs, as the better you become, the better your projects will be. Until next time, yes, you've guessed it, happy painting! Ready? Yep. Ooh. Can you remember what I told you in the introduction video about needing to draw? Not needing to draw. <laughs> He said needing to draw. Yeah. <laughs> I think we can edit that out. Yeah. <laughs> Just. Could you say the whole thing again? Because the paper would have changed. <laughs> I love you. Trace and transfer. Both are general instruction techniques words. Use. I've got one too. Now following. Now following the principle. Oh no, it's drawing another way for you What? <sighs> Confusing your old mother. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Draw another wavy line. Do another pause. Sorry. Oh sorry, not a big enough pause. Do do. <sighs> Now try a long line with two dots. Start at the first dot and stare at the second dot, joining them up in one swift action. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want to do that again? <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Long straight lines. The golden rule. <laughs> I don't think so.
<laughs> Very poor student I've got here. Very poor student. Um. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> and the golden rule? Suppose you want it. <laughs> <laughs> it is the poorest student I've ever had. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>